In this video, we're going to learn how to take a portrait like a photograph and make it into a drawing on a blank piece of paper. So one thing we're going to have to review is um, pressure with pencil. You don't want to push very hard any time during this drawing so that if, the, if there are mistakes, we can always just remove them uh, with an eraser or simply just ignore them because they're going to be so light. But if you start drawing dark, it's going to be hard to change those things. Um, so we're going to take measurements from here, just using our eyes, and see if we can copy that, sh those shapes, onto this blank paper. First measurement I'm going to look at is how high is the head top to the top of my paper, and there's only a small space there. So on this paper, I'm going to see if I can copy that small space, like this shows right here with just a little marking. A mark to show the top. And then the bottom of the face, I'll call it the chin right there, I'm going to see how far down it is on the paper. And it's a little bit further than the center. I think the middle of the paper is about here. But the chin goes further down. So I'm going to see if I can find where I think the middle of this paper is and just make a little bit of a mark right below that. So middle plus a small extra bit. And now the same on the sides. That's this big. This is bigger than that. This and this are similar. So it's like a, a small space, a little bit bigger space, and another small space. So I'm going to see if I can copy that here. I'm going to just try it out. I don't know if it's going to be correct yet. But I'm going to give it a try. So I have a small space here, a little bit bigger space, and another small space. And if I draw this and I don't really like it, I can always change it um, in the future. And now I'm going to just kind of add a bit of a, a shape around to kind of connect that into some sort of head shape that will also be just temporary. I'm going to change this later on as I uh, start to um, learn about the, the shapes of things and ears and chins and everything like that. But for now I'm just going to add kind of almost a rectangular shape to join those measurements. The next big measurement is the shoulder measurement from, um, this goes all the way to the side of the page and then it seems like it's slanting up. If I kept going with my pencil it's going to reach kind of right there, the bottom of my uh, mouth or the top of my chin. And this does similar things like that too, but it's a little bit lower. There's the shoulder on this side, and this side is a little bit higher or lower down. So I'm going to see if I can copy that, measure it. I think it's going to be about here. And then this is lower, so here. And then if I connect them, that angle is doing this. I'm kind of tracing it, and this angle's a little bit flatter. And again, it's kind of leading towards the mouth or the chin. Okay? And then another probably very important measurement is this collar and the neck here. So it kind of goes from the side down a little bit. How far down? Well, I'm going to use the bottom of the neck where the collar is and just go sideways and you can see it's kind of lined up a little bit taller than this shoulder and a little bit lower than this shoulder. So I'm going to come down from the chin a little bit so that it's higher than this side but lower than this side. And then there's this shape of the collar there. And then the neck sort of connects to it. And you've got to think about how wide is the neck here compared to my cheeks or my jaw. It's a little bit narrower and it's kind of going this way. Same with this. It's kind of going a little bit diagonal. And I can see right away there's a body, a head, and a neck. Another big shape that you may need to uh, think about at the beginning is hair. Because if you have long hair that's overlapping your shoulders, that might be the biggest part of your whole portrait. So I'm going to think about how tall is the hairline compared to the whole face here. It comes down 
almost a quarter of the way. A quarter is half of a half. So if the eyes are in the middle, the forehead's a quarter, and then the hair's another quarter. So halfway here, quarter, quarter. I'm just going to make a line that I see here. Just sketch it on really lightly because you don't want to make a mistake um, that you can't get rid of. You will be making mistakes. Everybody's making mistakes. I'm making mistakes. But we're just going to be drawing lightly so we can change our mistakes later. And this is a little curvier, more of a half of a circle right here. So I'm going to make sure that that looks a little rounder than the rectangle. And this is a little bit of an angle there for the jaw. So I'm going to see if I can make that a little bit more angly. And then another big shape I see is this sweatshirt collar. This is a zippered sweatshirt, so it's kind of a jacket collar. It's coming out almost to the side of the paper. And then it's going down to the bottom of the page. And then this is kind of coming out from the neck and then down straight like that. Maybe. This is only just a temporary guess that I can change in the future. And this is going that way, kind of like a little slide down and a little flip there. And it's kind of going like that. And I can change all of this stuff easily because I'm not drawing hard, I'm just sketching lightly. And if there are mistakes, I don't even like to erase them at this stage because that's just going to take too much time and ruin my eraser. So I can make all sorts of uh, scratchy errors and not have to worry about it. The center of the face, I think uh, right about here, where these eyes are, is also where those ears are. So I'm just going to extend a little bit past. And then down in this photograph, my nose is, the bottom of my nose is here where the nostrils are. The ears are even further down in this picture, so I'm going to have to go um, maybe about a quarter of the way down from the eyes here and here. So it's a lot of math involved, but no numbers, just seeing things and dividing things in halves and in quarters and thirds and things like that. But right now, I think this is a good start to my portrait. I'm not going to add any details of eyes, nose, mouth or anything really until I make sure that all of these big, big, big shapes are in the right spot. And they might be, they might not be. Um, I'm gonna have to think about it and double check my work. And once I think it's pretty good, then I'm gonna start doing some of the medium shapes. And then at the very end of the portrait, the smallest details like eyes and nose and nostrils and, and lips and things like that. So that's uh, the start to our portrait. It's kind of just called blocking out the portrait and just very big general shapes and super soft drawing sketches that are easy to change. And again, you're going to be making mistakes. I make mistakes all the time with this, but we just kind of keep changing them. And it's easy to do when you're drawing softly. So good luck to you in this, and I'll see you next time.